Yay, we're going to Happy Flower Land and it's raining. Flying Wiggler and... What was that? Ego Oil? That's what it looked like on my screen. I don't know. Okay, what you got for me, stupid butterfly? Stupid Mothman. I'm fighting the Mothman. Uh... And he occasionally gets really angry because he's a... I was gonna say derivative? That doesn't really... A descendant? No. What's the word? Oh well, he's like... He was a wiggler, so... Because of that, he has anger issues, and he's bipolar. He's the bipolar wiggler. Uh, caterpillar. Uh, this is moth thing. Bears. Cactus. Orangutan. Do 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 Oh man, the music cut off into the danger music. Danger zone music. Uh, I really like how you can see the character's icons in the middle of this screen. Because... You just see Yoshi, and he's cute little Yoshi, and he just like licks the, the butterfly in the groin area. That's that's kind of awkward. Uh, you shouldn't do that, Yoshi. Um, and you just see their emotions. Every everything with everything that happens, you see their emotions. Okay, move that, move that. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. No. Oh, I thought that was gonna fall further, but it didn't. Now I'm screwed. Oh. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No! I was gonna move the green! I was gonna move the green, man. I was gonna move the green. I need to study my English. Although it doesn't really take... Wow, I, I have one continued? Is that... Oh, I have... Oh, it's... Okay, never mind. It's counting how many times you continue. It's not like, limiting you. That's... Okay, that's better than I was thinking. I thought I had one continue, and it's like, what? I've beaten this a bunch of times before. I don't I don't know why I would need this many continues. Okay. Let's completely dominate this stupid little weak, ugly butterfly this time. Oh, no, not like that. I didn't say have him dominate me immediately. Uh... Uh, what? Sometimes whenever you have a piece and it's falling onto another piece, and you're trying to get rid of one and... Move. Oh man, that was terrible. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. But like sometimes whenever pieces are falling and you're trying to move one over, you move it, you switch the blocks, and you move it back. And it's just... it's weird because most of the time it does not do that and then it just occasionally does. I don't know what the, the problem with that is. Because I don't think this game is completely glitch-free. It's It does have a few tiny little problems, but for the most part it's just great. Uh, can you throw me a bone here? Oh well, while I'm just... I don't know. While I'm just going crazy here. For some reason, whenever I said, throw me a bone, it made me think of some funny things that happened in class, because I had a really good day today at school. And it was for a variety of weird reasons, and funny reasons. And one story of the day was that, um, in my math class, we have this little skeleton that hangs in the wall. Don't ask. Uh, I think it's like supposed to be a Halloween decoration that was never taken down because I've seen that I've seen some Christmas decorations that weren't taken down in that class uh, but which they are now and so someone in my class decided to take the skeleton off the wall and just kind of play around with it and have fun and so it would like he, he would make it to where its jaws flapped every time he's he talked and so eventually, whenever he left the room to go to the bathroom, my teacher took the skeleton on a walk and, like, kicked its legs and everything, and it was just funny. It was just lulzy. Lulz-tastic fun. Nuggets. And then another great story of the day. Oh, man, like, this, this made me... Oh, I almost was in tears with laughter. This was just so amazing. I'm not even sure if I should mention it, because I was considering making it into a Flash movie or something, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I usually, whenever I have an idea for something like that, I'm just like, well, I should make that, and I start and I never finish. So, it's probably not going to be one of those things that happens, but it was absolutely great. Uh, I don't know if I should name names or not, but I think if I use first names, no one will care. Uh, so I have 
in my class, there's my teacher, and then there's someone named Mason, someone named Liam, uh, someone named William. I don't remember who the other person was. I think it was April. Is that it? Oh, I'm about to die. I died. I died. Ah, stupid butterfly. You and your wing flapping, and your little star that you just got, and your win, and my lose. Ah. He always is cute whenever he sticks out his little tongue. He's like, he has a little tongue, and usually he doesn't. Anyway, funny story. Which was just simply amazing to me. Uh. <laughs> basically, this is how it went down. Teacher says, So, um, Liam, I don't, I didn't get your packet from you. He replies, I gave it to you. I put it on, I put it on a little stack on your desk. And she says, that was your first problem. And then he says, I put it on the stack that was, uh, that had everyone else's packets on it. And, he, and she said, that's your second problem. And I just died. I'm dying left and right. I need to die up and down instead. But she... She was just insisting that he hadn't turned it in, and even though he knew he had turned it in uh, by putting it on a packet, or putting it on a whole bunch of packets, and so then she said, "Mason, April, I didn't get a, uh, I didn't get packets from you either." And I just said, "What? But we we gave them to you. We we actually both came into the room at the same time, and you were in the back room, and you said put them on my desk, and so we put them on your desk." And then teacher says, "Well, I'm I'm sorry. I mean." I always tell you that you need to give them directly to me. And then she says, William, I also don't have your packet. And then he says, I put it in your hands! And it was just absolutely hilarious the way he said it. And so, uh, <laughs> I just busted out laughing. A couple of other people in the room bursted out laughing. And then everyone who was, uh, like, everyone who was called on for not having their packets, they all got up basically at the same time and looked for their packets in the room, just like in every stack that there was in the back of the room, and it was just hilarious. And eventually, everyone had to leave for, like, class rings or something, which I didn't get because I kind of... I don't feel the need to waste a little bit of money or waste a good bit of money on something that feels uncomfortable in my finger, but uh, they all left. And then eventually, because I was one of the only people in the room, I overheard uh, my teacher say, Oh, they'll be so happy, I just found their papers. Because it was her fault the whole time. I put it in your hands! <laughs> oh, it was just so perfect. Okay, can I win now? Can I just not fail miserably at this? I'm usually good at this game! Oh, am I going to keep all of this in? Am I going to keep every one of my fails? You know what? I might as well. I might as well. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try actually doing a whole Let's Play where I don't cut out any fails and just see what happens. Oh, I don't think there's... Well, there is a way to save, but it requires basically keeping the, the game on. Uh, I believe. I think the only way that you can continue your game is if you reset rather than... Or soft reset rather than hard reset, if you understand that terminology. If you don't turn the game off... Uh, then I think that's the only way that you can really save your game on this game, on this game, on game, 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 this game, game. Uh, so I guess I should just keep playing and go go through with one sitting because that's what I usually do with this. This isn't this isn't long. This isn't a long game. I'm. Butterfly, and I have happy sunflowers behind me, except I'm really super angry in my little image behind the blocks. Do 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 do. Okay. I need to just stop talking and focus or something. Because that's the way that Super Genius does it, and every time he stops talking and just focuses, then he wins and it is epic. That is just what he does. Like in the roasting rails on uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Which I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the Miracles of Let's Plays, but that, that was just one of those awesome moments. You should go see that. It's called Donkey Kong Country Returns Rail Fail. That's the name of the episode. Uh, I think it's like episode 20 or... Well, maybe it's probably not 20. I don't know. I don't think the Let's Play was actually that long. Maybe it was. That makes sense if it was. But not, not that point of the Let's Play. Oh well, I don't know. Okay, can I just 
Can I just wall What was I about to say? I don't even know. I was I was like in the middle of saying something and I just failed at saying it, whatever it was. Yeah. Sometimes you can kind of trick the combos into thinking that there's something else even though they're not. Which, I don't know a better way to describe that, better way to say that, but you just can. Like, you can drop blocks as if... You can drop certain blocks at the same time, and they just win. And if you don't know about the exclamation blocks in this game, they just drop a uh, an extra hard, solid, awesome block of greatness and happiness that will save you in a world of pain. Finally! I beat stage four! Man, this shouldn't be hard at all. I mean, what? Uh, I've beaten Bowser on Super Hard Mode in 16 seconds before. I, I shouldn't be having this much trouble with a frickin' butterfly. With a frickin' butterfree. Oh, Ego Lil? Is that what it said? Ego Lil? I don't even... What? Okay. That's a weird name. I like little angry, happy Halloween jack-o'-lantern mountain in the back. With the little death mountain smoke cloud around it. Hello, frog. Ooh, this music's fun. It's just so relaxing. It's just like, you have all this upbeat music and then you have this. And it's just so nice. Although my favorite music in, the, in, in this game, we haven't heard it yet, but it's... It's another kind of relaxing song, but at the same time it has this great beat. Oh, So good. Oh, this game is so good. I just don't even know. I've had lots of memories with this game. Like, I remember... I remember when I was young, my mom and I would play this game a lot. We do occasionally sometimes now, but not nearly so much, and I'm about to die, so that's... Uh, 39 seconds, man. But since I would always know how to play this game, and she would not, because, well, I mean, she's not exactly an expert with video games of any kind, and she she likes... Le she really, really likes Tetris Attack, even though she's not very good at it. Uh... But she loves Tetris Attack, and we would play it, and I would always win. So I would intentionally scroll up the screen, like, as just as she was about to lose, and I would just lose for her. Just because, I, I don't know how old I was, maybe like four, or how I don't know when this game was made, probably before I was born, is my guess. But yeah, I would just win to be nice, or lose, lose to be nice, and have her win. I don't know. It was just lulls. Mm, okay. And she and she knew it too, so it wasn't like, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, that that completely. Whenever I pressed the down button, that completely overshot where I was going. I was intending to go like one row down, and it went like fifty thousand hundred. Fifty thousand hundred. Oh wait, what? Why there's still things over here? Uh, 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 uh. I blame lag. Even though this game is not lagging, it just has a low frame rate, so I can't tell everything that's moving at once. I'm not even sure if I want to cut this. I might, but I might not. We will see! If it gets really bad, then I can do what Nintendo Capri Sun did with his whole Castlevania Let's Play that he basically just did. Which isn't over yet, but it's still a thing that is going on, and it's a thing that is happening. Uh, and he, he just played through the same level over and over again, and I guess kept commentating, and then just kept the really funny parts. <laughs> oh, wow. His commentary on that was just kind of ridiculous, but in a good way. I just put it in my favorites. Oh, boy! Da-da! Okay, what I'm gonna do this time is just make everything on a few little small rows. Scroll up some, not too much, not too much. Blending, blending is the secret. That's a decent combo, it's not that great. I always like getting times nines. Those are the best combos ever. Well, no, you can get higher than that, but times nine is where it stops mattering. I don't remember what my biggest combo ever was. I want to say it was like 11, but I really don't remember. Because combos are awesome. That They're why I love I, I love this game so much, I guess. Because you can't really make crazy combos in Tetris, and even if you can, you can't really control them. In this game, you can control your combos. Hmm. 
And some people, whenever they play this game, are kind of reminded of... Oh, wait, why didn't that move? Uh, I need my hearts to break. Come on. I need my hearts to break here. Uh, some people, whenever they play this game, are reminded of this Street Fighter puzzle game. Uh, I guess it's like Street Puzzle Fighter. I think that's actually what it's called. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I was tripped up by the, the bubbles in the background. I keep making excuses of all kinds. The sun was in my eyes, even though it's nighttime. Uh, and the wind was blowing, even though I'm indoors. Doing it again! Yep, we have frog tongue against frog tongue here. That sounds kind of gross. I wasn't picturing, like, a French kiss or anything, but now I am. I was just thinking Yoshi against a frog. That's all I was thinking. Ah. This is surprisingly difficult, though. I mean, it might not even be a frog. It might be a toad. It might be battle toads. Which I've played a little bit of Battletoads recently because of the whole Battletoads race thing that's been going on with Proton John and the others. And, oh. That is. <laughs> it made me want to play Battletoads, even though all of them were hating everything about it. I just had to play it. And so I pretty much used the same conditions that they did. I started playing and they had infinite lives. I only got to, I think, level 3, and then I started dying a whole bunch of times. Because how do you get past. I don't know how you get past the turbo tunnel. Like, that's the level that I'm stuck on. It seems like you need perfect timing to do that. So I don't even know, man. I don't even nuzz. I doesn't even nuzz. Why don't I get good settings here? I... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Keep going with the flow. Keep going with the flow, with the flow, and flow, and flow. Oh, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey wait, what, what, whoa. whoa. I don't even know what just happened there. I got a times four somehow. Okay. And peaceful music once again. Oh, wait a minute. There's green. I think I'm kind of... Actually, no, that's not true in this game. Whenever I play certain games that have lots of colors in them and I'm trying to uh, fit things together, like Yoshi's Cookie, for instance. Yoshi's Cookie, uh, which was kind of like the precursor to this game in a way. Whenever I'm playing that game, I'm sort of biased toward fitting together certain kinds of cookies. And so, like, the cookies that stand out more to me, those are the ones that I just automatically try to put together. But then in this game, it's okay. Everything pretty much feels the same. Like, whenever I see purples, I, I just try to put them together. Whenever I see blues, I try to put them together. Whenever I see reds, I try to put them together. Uh, try to put them together. And the commentary ended. And the credits rolled and nobody clapped. Alright. Maybe if I just... Maybe. I don't actually have a strategy. I'm just thinking to myself and talking to myself. Because I talk to myself all the time. I really do. I mean... I don't see why anybody wouldn't talk to themselves, honestly. People say that talking to yourself is weird. I say it's a good way to get your thoughts out. Because sometimes I just sit in my room and uh, pace around in a circle for 30 minutes and just say, well, maybe not 30 minutes, sometimes it's 30 minutes, and then sometimes it's like 10, but I'm just like, you know, blah, 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 politics, blah, 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 no politics, blah, 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 let's play, blah, 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 I don't like people. That's kind of my thought process. Although, usually the politics isn't part of that, but it could be. Who knows? Man, Frogman, you're putting up a fight here. Could you put up less of a fight? Could you put up less of a Battletoads, please? Interesting fun fact. I, I'm not sure if it's easy mode and hard mode, or if it's just easy mode, but... If, um, no, wait, I, never mind. I think if you go to hard mode or super hard mode, that's the only way that you get to fight Bowser in versus mode. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, try again. This. I. Oh, that was so close. Well, not really at all. It wasn't close, even remotely close, but... Okay. That's good. Yes! Die, you stupid frog! You just got run over, frogger. Yeah. Yeah. Eat that. I saw Nintendo Power magazine. I think it was Nintendo Power. Or maybe it was Game Informer. I think it was Nintendo... Uh, Nintendo... Nintendo... Nintendo Power. Nintendo Copernicus. Where, uh... 
Cloud Daddy. Where there was a person with a whole bunch of bumper stickers on his car, and the one that stood out to me was, I break for Frogger. It was lulls. I keep saying it is lulls. Why do I say it is lulls? I guess it's because lulls is lulls. Lulls are lulls. LOL!